Hey guys, my name is Eddie and I am a portrait, branding and lifestyle photographer based in Abuja, Nigeria. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I export my images for Instagram upload and um, small size images that I give to my clients for their upload purposes. So first things first, I like to process my images in Capture One. I love Capture One a lot. So um, because from Capture One, I, I when I process my raw images in Capture One, I take it to Photoshop. So when I'm done editing in Photoshop and saving Photoshop, it automatically saves in Capture One as a PSD file. Take for instance this image that I'm show, showing you guys now. This is a raw picture and this is the already edited image from uh, Photoshop. So what I do in Capture One is uh, I just right click and then go to the export. And then uh, over here you see the export recipes. If you're using the newer versions of Capture One, you, you get to see this. So um, this is what we have under the, this is the particular one that I use, the PSD Adobe RGB 1998 8-bit. So um, for the format and size, I leave it at um, JPEG, obviously. And for the quality, I tend to leave it at um, 80. Reason being that if it if it is at 100, you tend to have a very big file that you you might end up not having use for because you're not planning to print it on, on a billboard or something. So exporting huge files, it, to me, I feel like it's a waste. So that's why I, I tend to reduce the quality a bit. And then I leave my ICC profile at sRGB color, color space profile. And then my resolution, I leave it at 72. Except if I want to print a large uh, file, say for instance, you, um, I, I need the picture to be used for uh, a billboard or something, something big. That's when I tend to change my resolution to 300 for regular Instagram purposes. I just leave it at 72. For my scale, I leave it at fixed and I change the uh, percentage to 80 because I don't want a huge file size that I will end up not having use for. So um, for the sharpening, I tend to just sharpen my image a little more in uh, Capture One. Uh, that's uh, output sharpening for screen. Just very little. You can see how little it is. Just, just something very subtle. Yeah, and uh, no watermark, watermark none, and that's basically all there is. So you can see the file size. You can see how reasonably small it is. For me, this is okay for Instagram purposes and for WhatsApp, Facebook, and all of that. This is this is fine for me. This is what I deliver to my clients for their upload purposes. Except if I want to print maybe a photo book, and I need the pictures to be very uh, crispy I think and then that's when I, I would need a large uh, file but for Instagram purpose I just tend to leave it small so and then I export and that's pretty much it your image has been exported um, to either your desktop or to the initial folder where you brought the pictures into capture one from so those are the images that you can either airdrop or send to your mobile phone and send to your clients and upload on IG. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.